Hello there. Okay, so from yesterday, I set you three tasks, and I realized it's pro it was probably too much, so I've deleted one of them. Okay, so from the other tasks, two out of eight completed the first one, and zero out of eight completed the second one. So I've deleted one of them. So you still have two left. As I can see from checking in yesterday, two people completed it, Ava and Ronnie. I did see some score for Solomon somewhere. Um, and it does show you have logged in. The only people who hadn't logged in were Sasha and Matthew, without meaning to call you out, but there, I just called you out. So everyone else did log in and they were in the process of doing it. Obviously, it takes a bit longer to complete it. So I'll give you more time to do that today. Okay, so I've just left you with two tasks to do today. If I quickly go through the first one, just I'll do one question from each part so you know what you're doing. Okay, nice work practice. So if you look at the first example, uh, 5m plus 6 equals 16. So you do the opposite to plus 6, so that would be take away 6. So 5m is 10, so 1m must be 2. Some of you have another way of working it out, and that is totally fine. Okay, if we look at the bottom example, 9h plus 6 equals 87. We do the opposite to add 6, that would be take away 6 from this. That would leave you with 81, and 9 times 9 is 81. For this type of example, think of a number s, multiply it by 5, and subtract 34. That means 5s minus 34 is equal to 81. So 5s must be equal to 81 plus 34. That leaves you with 115. Yes, 115. So how many fives are in 115? It goes in 23 times. So then the answer to this must be 23. Hopefully that works. Yes. Okay, so you would have to do them all. I'm just showing you some examples. The second page, it's something similar, yeah? So you just work backwards for, we'll look at this one. No, that's the same as the first example, this one. Okay, so x divided by 10 plus 6 is equal to minus 4. So you're doing the inverse to add 6, that would be take away 6. So x divided by 10 is equal to negative 10. So something divided by 10 gives you negative 10. So that must be negative 100. Your answer should make sense. Negative 100. Okay. There you go. Negative 100. Okay. So there's some examples from the multi-step ones. If we now look at some examples from the brackets, hopefully we have time. Some of you have done it before, but this is just an assessment of it. So for this, you would multiply it. We'll do this one here. So it's 4a. 4 times a is 4a. 4 times minus 7 is minus 28. So 4a minus 28 is equal to 60. So 4a is equal to 60 plus 28. So 4a is equal to 88. So 1a must be 22. OK. So you're multiplying out the brackets. This one's a little bit trickier with negatives. Okay, but you get the idea. You multiply whatever's outside the bracket by everything inside the bracket. So good luck with it.